Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on over there for some Abzan Citadel. That's right, we are playing a Bolus Citadel deck. Deck that I was talking about whenever we were doing our set review. It's kind of going over like how all these cards could kind of fit into a Bolus Citadel deck. And we have finally made it, finally put it together, and uh, we're going to be playing it here. So I'm really excited about this one. Uh, played a couple of test games earlier today, and it was a lot of fun. Really, all we're trying to do is get Bolus to Citadel and play, and then just play all the cards <laughs> after that. So Bolus to Citadel allows you to um, uh, play the top card of your library, and if you cast a spell this way, you can just pay life equal to its converted mana cost rather than paying its mana cost. So unlike Experimental Frenzy, that like whenever you tap out for your Experimental Frenzy, you need to like untap with it and then you can kind of go crazy and start casting some spells with your mana, you don't even need to do that with Bullets of Citadel. You can just play it and if you got spells on top, you can just start casting those spells. And all you have to do is pay life. So since, since we need to pay life, uh, we have a lot of spells that gain us life. Tulsimur gains us three life, so it basically costs two life to play it. Johnny can gain us three life, so it costs us one life to play it. Contempt costs us two life. Uh, Golgari Queen, if we tick up, we can gain one life. So this one's kind of expensive. It costs us three. Same with Sword Tooth. Those are our two most expensive cards in our deck. It costs us three. But Oath of Kaya is absolutely free. Bond of Flourishing and Revitalize actually just gain us a life to help us keep going. And then Paradise Druid costs two, and you know Land Werewolf costs one. But we can do some crazy stuff of just you know casting spell after spell after spell after spell uh, with this, and um, it's pretty cool. So that's our goal. That's what we're going to try to do. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's let's play it. Let's try it out. I think I want to go to the the tr traditional constructed queue for the first time playing this deck here before going, you know, sending it out to Mythic. Um, yeah, I haven't, I, I honestly, like, forgot, when I was playing the games earlier, I honestly forgot about the second part of Bolas and Citadel, like, the whole sack 10 permanence thing, they lose life. I, I forgot that that was even a thing. I just didn't even use that. Swordtooth definitely does work here, because you get to play the land off the top, so you can play multiple lands with Swordtooths also, so it, it does a lot of work here. So far, what card would you say was the biggest surprise and outperformed your expectations? Three cards, three Planeswalkers I've been particularly impressed with that I wasn't as high on, you know, just reading the card. That's just the same hand. We just, we just had this hand. All right. Uh, Soren has certainly been better than I thought it was. I thought, you know, like, all three of these I thought were okay. Tamio, Tamio is another one. I was the lowest out of these three on Tamio. I didn't think Tamio was that good, but it, Tamio is actually, you know, pretty solid. Been really impressed with that. And uh, Vivian, the new Vivian of giving your creatures flash. Looks really strong. Uh, yeah, another one, Bioess and Hydra. I was definitely low. Yeah, I was definitely pleasantly surprised on how good Bioess and Hydra was. Let's look for another land drop. Kaios! Welcome back. Good, now we don't have to tap Paradise Druid. Oh no, not welcome back. First, first time Twitch Prime sub. Hey, welcome to the channel. Enjoy all the really cool emotes. Yeah, Cure is pretty good. I was... Yeah, I've been... Cure is better than I thought. What's your opinion on the Soren Infinite combo and the Is It Infinite combo? is the question. I don't, I'm not a big fan of infinite combos. Um, I have not seen any Soren infinite combo. I do not know. Does this come into play untapped? It does not. If I, so if I take Citadel, I don't get to play Sword Tooth. So I guess I'm gonna just take one of these so I can play Sword Tooth. And we need another black source in case Paradise Druid dies. <clears throat> um. 
the Soren Demon Lord Belzenlock and Jace. Doesn't Soren Demon Lord Demon Lord Belzenlock stop whenever you hit a land? I guess I don't know exactly what Jace does with it. Yeah, Tamiyo is really good in Wilderness Reclamation decks. Need to find the citadel. We need one more mana too. Oh, Bells and Lock does skip lands. Okay. Come on. Guess I'm killing that and I'm gonna owe the Kaya this thing. I don't really know why I'm doing this. This is just kind of a waste. That was just a big waste. I should just wait. Because now we're just dead to a bolus. I should just wait with that contempt. I was kind of frustrated with all my things dying. So, th I could cast Bond of Flourishing, grab a land, play the land, Othakaya, kill the thing. The problem is, the problem is, is if we see Bolas of Citadel there, we're gonna want to grab that. And plus, we just don't have like, like even if I do that, we just, you know, we don't really have like spells and stuff. So, I should probably just wait on the Bond of Flourishing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Vane. Yeah, that's the thing. We want a non-land with the Bond of Flourishing. So it's it's not really worth it to do that. All right, draw Citadel. C Citadel. Citadel. Spark will be mine. Come on, Citadel. I we need you this turn. Have been for you. <laughs> you uh. have no weakness I cannot exploit. I will teach you humility. Turn back while you still can. <laughs> Your efforts are futile. <laughs> All right, well, we did not get Citadel. All well, that's going to be tough. Okay, that's good. That doesn't kill my Lana War Elf. That doesn't kill my Lana War Elf either. All right, now sit it out. We got another try. Dang. All right, that'll kill us. Where are these citadels at?
So let's get these duresses in here. I guess I should play Knight of Autumn because they, they're Dreadhorde invasions. I'm going to cut Swordtooth with... I don't know, it's a lot of a lot of stuff here. Cut sword tooth with like the chances of us having a ton of permanence being less. Oh, I meant to cut some some of the Kayas. I didn't want all of them. I wanted to cut like two. I wanted two. Both of Kayas. That is. Uh, I saw like the time was running out and kind of got worried. Um, yeah, we did hit a sub battle go goal. We haven't just determined what day to do our next sub battle yet. Wanted to give some people some time with the brand new format to get decks and stuff. Uh, we're thinking maybe next weekend for that. Yeah, revitalize is important. I mean, it just, it just cycles and, and gains life. I like it. So we could hit duress. Let's just see if we hit duress. Oh uh, no. I don't like hitting the citadel there because now, you know, they can thought erasure away the citadel. I mean, at least we drew it. So that's good. Good. Go the Kaya that thing. And we need to draw land. Come on, land drop. Come on, land drop. Come on, land drop. No thought erasure. That's fine. Land drop. Should I even play Relic Seeker instead this turn? No, I probably shouldn't. Ugh! No land. Alright, well I can't let my Paradise Druid get coiled. So I can't tap it. So we're going to Contempt at end step. Alright, well them playing that now they don't have the mana for coil, so we're good. We can contempt now. Land drop. All right, here we go. All right, now we're going. No, nah, another land on top. That's all right. Next turn. Good. Pay life, draw a card. Um, dang it, why did I take some of these other Kayas out? I'm just going to gain three.
No, the, the activate is 10 non-land permanents. We're not going to be killing them with that. This thing have lifelink now at 6? Dang it. So if I just had... I need to keep two Tulsimers over two of the Othakayas. I took the two Tulsimers out. I need to keep those. It's actually going to be tough for me to deal with this 6-6. Six -six. I don't really know how I'm going to deal with it right now. Alright, well, I guess I'll play that thing. Jeez. Down to two. Warrior Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to it. Get out of my way! Death is enlightening. Ugh. I can't pay two to gain three. Because I can't pay the two. We can't play it. We gotta wait till next turn and gain life. I have not tried a Simic Ramp deck yet, no. That's certainly on the short list of decks to try. I liked Simic decks quite a bit last format. Good old Paradise Druid with the Hexproof. We get to block this token. Oh no, a Thief? Oh no. That's a problem. Alright, let's play the land off the top. Ooh. Um... Good mindless minion. Is it better to gain life or kill the Dreadhorde invasion? It's minus four. I don't know if I want to gain four life or kill the Dreadhorde invasion. We're pretty close to dying. We need to draw one of those Othakayas. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. I wouldn't mind if they tick up. I guess they tick up, I draw the Citadel. I would like them to attack with Thief first and clear off the Citadel and then tick up. Can they do that, please? Death Suffer me. for it's your cause. Because if they, attack, if they ticked up, I could get rid of the Knight of Autumn. Alright, so they took the Citadel. Ooh. Paradise Druid is not a good one there. No, Citadel cannot sacrifice lands. No. Sacrifice 10 non-land permanents. I have other schemes to attend to. Alright, come on, deck. We need to find another Harpooner, Othakaya. Something like that. Duress, that's not going to do it. Looks like we're dead. Okay, we're still alive. No, now we're dead. Dang. Defeated.
No, I kept in all the revitalizes. I'm never, you know, never gonna take out revitalize with this deck. Maybe I just should not take out Wayward Swordtooth either. I mean, you know, whenever we had the Citadel, we'd just kind of hit some lands there. I don't know, Liliana was really expensive, but Liliana was good. We found like one Revitalize and one Bond of Flourishing off of it, which was which both of those were good, but we drew a bunch of things that didn't work very well for us. Oh, is this mono red? I I haven't faced mono red, but I would assume our mono red matchup is good. Our mono red matchup is probably really good when our opponent doesn't do anything either. Probably makes it even better. Yeah, Soren can give Swordtooth lifelink, but you know we have to have like this the Swordtooth out and everything. And also Swordtooth, like, be able to attack and block. And whenever we're at that point where Swordtooth's attacking, blocking, I think we're okay. That's okay. Kaya. I honestly don't know what to take out. All of our cards are good. Maybe we take out a Land War Elf because of Chain Whirler. Yeah, I don't know why they kept that hand. They didn't even have any one mana spells. Is this like is this actually Drake's? Where they or like Phoenix or Drake's where they had a bunch of like charter courses? Where they just tried to keep one land with like three charter courses or something like that? Yeah, Gideon's is Gideon is pretty good against red deck wins, but what's Gideon better than? Like everything in our deck is good against red deck wins. Okay, it's not a red deck wins. I'm gonna start casting these revitalizes first before Bond of Flourishing so that I because we want to do like the things where we just cycle where you just draw a random card. First, so you, you start knowing what these car what these actually turn into, and um, and then whenever you make your decision for Bond of Flourishing, you have a lot more informed decision. See if we find a shock land. No, not shock land. We're gonna want some more lands, deck. You can do it. So I'm gonna want to settle the wreckage in this matchup. The the one problem with settle is of course cruel spellbreaker. Is all the revitalizes. Can we find some more lands? Another land, please. Yay! I can just put that into play tapped and Othakaya this thing. Are they playing giant growth? Nope, no giant growth. Now. Hmm. 
All right, doing this to make sure we hit a land drop. Where revitalize does not, you know, would not really guarantee a land drop. Ugh. kind of crazy that we're still at 17 we've taken so much damage we're still at 17 <laughs> we gained 12 life so far you just have so much time to dirtle when you have eight cards that cost two and gain three If we play Revitalize and miss on our land drop... So I think my opponent doesn't want to, you know, extend more threats. So I don't expect them to play a threat here. Yeah, expecting them to pass. So I'm just going. To, so I get to contempt of this growth chamber guardian and untap with just the chain whirler on the battlefield. Draw land. No. Draw land. It's kind of a land. If I would have drawn the land here, I was going to play a Johnny and tick up and gain three life. That was that was my plan if I drew a land here. That was, that was my main plan. <laughs> we need more lands. Did you see the last game that we played? The last game we played, we just all we could find were lands. I don't think our deck needs our lands. Like we we've drawn tons of cards. It's just pretty it's pretty unlikely that we only have five lands right now after seeing nineteen. That's not a, a very likely thing. Six out of twenty one. Technically. Yeah, I'm glad they spent five burn at the dinosaur. I do not stand alone. Now do you see This is just a big anomaly. We don't peace. need to put a bunch more lands in the deck or play flowers. Problem with playing flowers, you have to play basics. Yeah, you have to play like more basics, and that's tough with Citadel. We must regroup. Yeah, it is basically four mana gain eleven life. Thanks to, you know, we gain gain three, they attack a Johnny for six. 
I've suffered worse. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? And then, you know, Othakai gets us another couple life. A familiar all the mana to play a Johnny Android. No sweeter. Okay. Now we're at a healthy enough life total where we can take this eleven and we can play Citadel next turn and start going. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we're not at a healthy enough life total. Oh yeah, they're not mono red, are they? Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, so nine, ten. Somebody oh, I thought. You. Oh, I, was, I counted one mana short. I, I should play a Johnny here, not Lanamore Elf. Or sorry, I should play a Johnny, not Kaya. I don't know why I was thinking I was going to be able to add Johnny and you won. Kaya. Just you wait. This time. Yeah, I... Should not play Kaya there. A Johnny's just just strictly better. Sorry, that's that's my bad. I don't know why I thought I could play both Planeswalkers there. We obviously just have been sitting on the six mana. Mistake was made. And looking back at my decision there, attacking with the. or like blocking with the Paradise Druid would have definitely been better. Hmm. Alright, mistakes have been made. By me. Specifically. You beat me you this won. time. This Bravo. Time. We still have a chance. We're not dead yet. If they have yet another burn spell, we're dead. Yeah, they played four burn spells so far. If they have a fifth, we're dead. Why not kill Chain Whirler? Because I need to block Ilharg. So I, I need both of these to block Ilharg. Like, that's why I, I need both of those to block Ilharg, and then a Druid jump in front of one of those. Ilharg has Trample. So yeah, I can't, I can't fight there. Alright, get that Settle in there. Get the Kaya back out. Switch those. And then we'll be back. So if I would, so <clears throat> if I would have just not played Kai, if I played a Johnny instead, playing a Johnny, I would get to minus 
put counters on things, and then my my five five would have turned into a six six that would have been able to block the Ilharg. Correct. First strike is only in combat. So yes, attacking and blocking both of those. I'm going to revitalize first so we have more information for the Bond of Flourishing again. So paying the life there so we can play the Paradise Druid with the green mana because I want to keep them untapped here. Um, what if I do that? Then we play land, play Citadel. So they just played their third land here. I guess I, I could have blocked last turn. I didn't really realize that. I was typing. Sorry. No, let's block one. Alright, we're blocking one. <clears throat> okay. So no Chain Whirler. It's basically what I'm trying to do. Because, yeah, Chain Whirler would, would really wreck me, so... We'll make them spend their mana there. Don't Chain Whirler me. Please. Ugh. Didn't get the land off the top now. Don't kill the Citadel. Don't kill the Citadel. Let me untap with it. Don't kill it. Alright, that's fine. So if I, if I don't block at all that last turn, they probably would have just Chain Whirlered away my creatures. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Uh, just a land... Play that. Intercept. Ah, another land. Let's reset. I'll take the Othakaya, please. Contempt. Alright, I will contempt the 4 4. Thank you. I will revitalize. Oh, another Othakaya. Ah, hit a land again. Um. We'll just go with Akaya. I will shoot the Guardian, because that thing can get bigger. So we got the other Othakaya for the other Chain Whirler. Yeah, it's like the black, black version of Frenzy, except for you just pay life instead of mana. Alright, Druid. Land. Land War Elf. Another land. Now we're finding all of our lands. See how you're saying we need more lands in this deck? Look at all these lands. We don't need more lands. We need more spells. Where are the spells at? We need... <clears throat> Ugh. We need Wayward Sword Tooth. Brass's Contempt. No. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one to see. Citadel is sack 10 non-land permanence. We do not get to sacrifice lands.
Wow. This is really disappointing. Bleh. Maybe I could have won that second game. I mean, I probably, I probably could have won that second game. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, run in the back. Those were... That was some really bad variants of sitting on five lands forever and ever and ever. And then, uh, you know, having 38 lands the next game. Running it back. I had a lot more success with this earlier when I was playing it. I could see having Kai's Rats in the sideboard. I mean, we have like our mana creatures, which. Kai's Wrath with our mana creatures is not amazing. It would have been nice to find our settle. I, I could see having more settles, like less Gideon in the sideboard. Sanguine Sacrament doesn't do anything with Citadel in play. Hey, Zerf, doing good. I don't want the Explorer creatures. I'd rather have the mana creatures and Swordtooth over the Explorer creatures. Yeah, Mono Blue is going to be tough. They're going to draw a lot of cards. Fonda Flourishing, is that strictly better than Shimmer? No, they, they, they do different things. Shimmer sees four cards, Bond sees three. So if you're playing a, a combo deck that you need to see as many cards as possible... Shimmer sees four. Plus, Bond only grabs permanence. Shimmer can grab anything. So neither is strictly better than the other. Curious Obsession is messed up. Um, the decks that we've played the last couple of days that are likely the strongest are the Gruul midrange from two days ago. And like that's that's probably the one maybe the Grixis control from yesterday. Yeah, they were able to spend, like, they were going to have to go to discard anyway, so they got to just, um, you 
you know, throw away some counter spells there. We're going to have to change our deck up here, as you can see. Bringing in a lot of cards. <laughs> Citadel is not a dead card against Mono Blue. I mean, it can it can resolve if you have enough interaction for other things. It could resolve. That would be good. It's not likely to resolve, but maybe it did. Maybe it can. Play a Johnny's. You never know. It may, it may resolve. You never know. I think y'all are getting way too fed up on the tap part of um, Citadel. It's something that just doesn't it it doesn't matter at all. Like that tap that could that's just no text. Like that. Um, I guess we pay two life because of spell pierce. <clears throat> Having that um, ability that says tap sacrifice ten non land permanents. The opponent loses ten, loses ten life is just extra text that will never come up and doesn't matter and just doesn't doesn't need to be there. So playing Knight of Autumn as a four three here to try to race. And they didn't draw the counter spell there. Very good. Okay, yeah, in a, in a different deck, it could be a, a win con. Sure, it's it's not in this deck. Yeah, different decks act differently. I'm not going to shock in here to keep this from getting spell pierced. If it gets spell pierced, then whatever. Don't think that's something I need to do. Are we still going to gain the three life from this Othakaya? I'm not sure. I think I think we will. Even if it gets dived down, I, I think so. But maybe not. I'm not sure.
Okay. So no <clears throat> no life. The ability yeah, the ability is countered. So no life. So it looks like their plan is to adapt. Which thankfully that tapped him out, so we got to actually exile that for the through the storm tamer. That was really convenient for us. Could have targeted them with the Othakaya. That's that's true, we could have. I did like getting the dive down out of their hand. Be steadfast in all your ways. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Our one a Johnny. Yeah, the first part of Othakai is worth it on its own. You don't you don't need the second part too much. That second part is just um is just a bonus. If I have to light the way, I will. Alright, scroll this land war elf. Because, yeah, that is a really nice bonus right now with that second part of Othakaya. They basically cannot attack a Johnny at all. Unfortunately, Settle is just so bad against Siren Storm Tamer. Uh, I'd recommend the Gruul mid-range deck that we played uh, yesterday. Two days ago. That we played two days ago. For you there, Sans. Sans. All right, so we were really fortunate in that game. We'll see if we get fortunate again. Ooh, love Kral Harpooner. This is a great hand. For a matchup, definitely really worried about. This is about as good a hand as we can have. Submit this one right here.
wanted to trade Othakaya and Harpooner for the Jin. They didn't have a dive down a little bit ago for the Terramander. Gonna go our way unless our opponent starts doing something. So they're not attacking with the Jin because otherwise we would be able to attack back with the Harpoon or they're not winning that race. No dive down. Hopefully they didn't draw dive down. No. No. Ugh. Well. Definitely like double spelling over single spelling. That's also annoying. So now that thing's a 7 5. Yeah, you could. That could be a, a, a deck you could probably play in best of one, the Gruel mid range deck. Yeah, that's probably a, a, a deck to, that you could play in best of one. So they have two cards. Land drop? Wow, that's lucky. Is it sleep? No. Trickster? I march into battle as your champion of justice. It definitely looks like a trickster. We're going to give Knight of Autumn lifelink. Because if I give Paradise Druid lifelink... Prepare for battle! Or it's just not trickster?
Or it is Trickster. Why did they say oops? Do they think that that was a mistake by me? Guessing they did. Alright, one now. So after our O2, we're coming back. Alright, <clears throat> on our way back. I did not think we were winning that match. They drew, they did not draw Curious Obsession games 2 and 3, and that was a big reason. And then they also drew 9 lands there. That was another big reason why we won that. Jelly, thanks for the biddies. Okay, I need to get this. All right, I'll take this. Yeah, turn two, sword tooth. That doesn't do anything for a while, but we get to play it on turn two. All right, teamer, super friends. Here we go. Keep. So if I play Forest, I do not get to play Othakaya next turn. I don't really expect to need to play Othakaya next turn against Watery Grave. Alright, Team or Super Friends is now up on YouTube. All right, I'm back in chat. Ooh, that's not going to come into play untapped. I guess I should have just gone with the Temple Garden the whole time. No, my sword tooth. If only I had another one. Love it. All right, come on, tap out, do something. Don't let me let me cast the citadel. Well, let me play the citadel, and don't counter it. To so tap out, come on, m mortify the sword tooth. Even better, mortify the land war elf, and then let me draw a land. I don't know, play a I don't know a Kaya or something. Go land chemister's insight. There you go. That's a good one. Land Chemist's Insight. Count. Uh, 
Uh, Kalistos Blade with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Alright, here we go. Oh no, they got rid of the... No, they got rid of the... The Lanamore Elf. No. I thought they got rid of the Sword Tooth. I wasn't really looking. <laughs> Next deck, we're going to have some Fibble Thip. Yeah, next next deck's all about fibble tip. Alright, that's fine. Alright, land. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. Yeah, there's a court. There's a code for War of the Spark. Um, it's Play War Spark. I won't hide from the world. Capitalize each one of those I'm words. Not done yet. All right, land. We would have had a really good Citadel hit too. I mean, we, well, we would have just hit Revitalize and then Tulsimer. I guess the Tulsimer would have. Would not have really been a hit. Because we would have drawn the Tulsimer off of the Revitalize. So they minus, we get to Othakaya. No time for a break. They're not minusing. Give them the Mortify. I don't want to give them more lands. Alright, here we go. Come on, deck. That don't work. Raynar with the tier one sub. Welcome to the channel, Raynar. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. All right, sixth sub of the day. So hitting that Teferi, so if Teferi wants to talk Citadel, it kills Teferi. You may regret that choice. Let's take it back. Sorry, I'm late. We need to move. Fortunately, there's another Teferi. We don't get to know our top card anymore, of course. Uh, we don't have the Citadel out anymore. Just get a couple creatures that can get mortified.
Rawr. That's a sweet looking token. Friend to elves. This will aid us. Hold that thought. Yeah, our yeah, so our opponents in in chat watching. That's why they killed the Llanowar Elf instead of the Sword Tooth before. He's in here. Hello. I can't, you know, I can't do anything about it. So it's just far far opponent wants to watch and cares about this little constructed queue that much to to watch. Then you know that's that's something they. Just have to live with. That's what they want to do with their life. So Othakaya, of course, coming on out. Not expecting it to do very much. Could play Night, Night of Autumns. Yeah, I'm going to play some Night of Autumns here it's all their enchantments well our opponent was used, used removal on the dinosaur previously and uh, I don't know like, why would it make sense to contempt a land war elf whenever we have six mana out? Like, would it make sense just to save, like, contempt something else? I mean, Vrasic's contempt's a very valuable removal spell. But. <laughs> yeah. If your opponent is showing the world their hand, why wouldn't you take advantage of it? Because it's a really scummy thing to do. It's not a way to get better uh, at magic. You know, it's not... It's it's just... You know, it's just a... It's just a scummy thing to do. You know, if you're, if you wanted to uh, play games of magic, it's I don't know. Some people may want to do it. But oh well, let's go. Um, see if we find some lands. Gonna go ahead and. I'm gonna go ahead and duress to see if there's like a Azcanta or something like that. So we got a Thief of Sanity to deal with. Double Contempt Wrath. Two of the Negator of the Teferi. And I'm going to just take the Teferi, get that thing out of there. Paradise Druid is a pretty good, good uh, card there to be able to turn on Contempt for a Thief of Sanity.
No, next deck is Bant Legends. We are playing Abzan Citadel right now. We win 0-2 in a league, and I wanted to run it back. You realize I do not stand alone. We were not destined to fight. Paradise Druid with a Johnny works is a really nice combo. How the Druid gets to attack with Vigilant, so it can you know can gain it can keep the hexproof. It's a really good combo. All right, we only have one black source, unfortunately. Now, do you see the benefits of peace for this thief? But it's likely that they're going to wait till they can have negate back up with the thief, with us kind of having nothing. Now do you see the benefits of Yeah, peace? them drawing land 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 was the worst you know, that that was just obviously the worst case scenario. We really wanted them to get stuck on lands like we are. But yeah, they drew land 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 and was able to Kaiserath and then everything. This is bad. I don't believe stream sniping is cheap cheating. I think it is um, poor sportsmanship. Like, like they're saying, I don't, I don't think it's. I don't think there's any like rules that say you can't. It's just, you know, really bad sportsmanship, basically. But it's it's just too difficult to police. There's not. There's not rules against it because you you can't enforce it. There's there's no way I'm putting the stream on a delay or putting any kind of thing over the hand. That's just ridiculous. I'm not doing that. I want to make the viewing experience as good as it can be, and I I don't care that much if my opponent sees my hand to to make the viewer experience worse. Swordtooth looked really awful for us against the deck with a lot of removal and everything. I think I should have boarded out all the Swordtooths. It's it's really just like a, at its best when we actually have Citadel in play. If we have Citadel in play, which is what we want, because you know, like Citadel is like our way to win. But if we have Citadel in play, then we then we desperately want Swordtooth. But without Citadel and just being stuck on lands, then Swordtooth just looks horrendous, like it did that last game. Oh, sorry. I put the... Yeah, it's one and three. Sorry, my, my bad. I wish we were playing this deck. On Thursday, when it was all aggro decks. Control and combo are where your life gain is not very good. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of life gain. We'll see if we're lucky enough to find a citadel. <clears throat> I don't have any exact plans for a Nissa deck. I, I do plan on making a Nissa deck soon, but I don't have any like exact plans for it. 
like what what to do with it. Oh yeah, I bet this deck would be good in best best of one just simply against mono red if mono red is just everywhere in best of one. You could play a deck like this there. Yeah, if you have if you have song requests you think would be good on the in the playlist, you can put them in the Discord channel. There's a room. I have a room in the Discord channel for just like uh, song recommendations. This is my deck. If, if I have you know, it light says it up away, here. It says when there's a, when it's a donation deck, it says it up here. Wilderness Circlemation will rotate out in uh, around 30 months. That's not right. 18 months. There we go. That's better. I'm at about a year and a half. Unfortunately. Yeah, we've had success with a lot of a lot of decks so far. Um, the Mardu Aristocrats and the from and the Grixis deck from yesterday, the day before, we had an Orzov mid range, a Gruel mid range. Light shall always conquer darkness. Just like looking for like something to counter basically over there. I'm not sold there's going to be a viable artifact deck in this metagame. I'm not so sold Trust on that. Me. Keep up the pace. Yes, playing around settle. That's why I didn't attack with the druids. Didn't want all my creatures just getting exiled from Cell the Wreckage. A familiar taste, but one that grows no sweeter. I'm going to give it one more turn. For a Bola Citadel. If we don't find it, concede. Or if they have a Nexus here. Never mind. We're just conceding. So I think I need more. I need more in my sideboard against these kind of decks. Um, the Kaya is not good enough. Like Kaya, Kaya needs to go. We need something better than Kaya. A 
I could have waited and got more information. Yes, I also va I value my life and having a decent stream, and that's just a just kind of a waste of time. I, mean, I would I'd rather move on, especially the valuing my life part. I was not. <clears throat> I had nothing to do with that game anymore. Nothing to do anymore. Not enjoying that at all. So unfortunately we don't get to play Black Blade here, not finding the white source, so let's... So if we draw a land, we can play Relic Seeker. If we don't, we can play Black Blade. All right, let's go Relic Seeker. Take no prisoners. I am here to aid in the assault. All right, you get lifelink. Share in my light. I guess I don't care if they play a Cleansing Nova. Yeah, if they play a Cleansing Nova, they die, so we might as well just play this Land War Elf out here. There's Reclamation. And now a bunch of Nexuses, and we lose. We'll see if we get another turn or not. Let's slow this down. I'm not ready for this quite yet. I have some fun. Uh, wellness reclamation. What a horrible card. Not looking like we're getting another turn. Oh, we are getting another turn. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do with that turn, but we get another one. So that's cool. Indestructible. Your light will cleave the darkness.
Only time. All right, we got Terry out here. That's good. Got to wait another turn before we can draw Relic Seeker, unfortunately. <clears throat> Gideon can get rid of Reclamation this next turn, though. Well, they still have, you know, an entire hand. Of... And I can't see... Okay, they have five cards. I guess I can just click on it. There we go, five cards. So that was a really disappointing league with Abzan Citadel. We went 1 4. Hmm. Our first loss was one that I may have been able to win. The. I don't know, like I said, I played it a couple times earlier today. Had a whole lot of fun with it, had some more success than that. We weren't doing a very good job of, like, you know, finding Citadel and actually having Citadel in play. And the couple of times that we did, we just hit lands. Like, we never really did anything that cool with Citadel. And so that's, that's like, the really disappointing thing. Um, I think the Kaya... is the worst card in the sideboard. I'm not sure what I really want in the sideboard, though. sure if Gideon's really that necessary. Like, maybe a Vivian instead of Kaya. I just, the problem with Vivian is I just don't really have, like, a lot of good creatures to tick up. But, like, one good thing about Vivian, and honestly, maybe we should just have, like, a Vivian main and a Tuls like, put one of these Tulsimers over there. Those Tulsimers looked really bad a lot. Um, I mean, we just didn't play against too many creatures, creature decks. Maybe we want a second settle for, like, the other creature decks, though. Yeah, I want to get rid of get rid of Liliana and play a second settle. Okay. The good thing that Vivian can do though is when you have Vivian in play, you get to reset the top of your library by taking up, you know. And Citadel means you don't really need your mana to cast stuff, so you usually have extra mana. Um. <laughs> I know this deck didn't look very good for those games there. I I do think highly of more highly of it than what it looked there. I think that I think it's pretty easy to draw conclusions that like people are saying in the chat of like the deck not being good or completely change it, go with like explore package or something else. I would like to play this deck more before re reaching similar conclusions. I think another card we can go without is the Golgari Queen. Probably. Should we try Soren in here? I'm going to try Soren instead of the Golgari Queen next time. Especially, I, yeah, I like Soren being able to grab Sword Tooth back. That's really nice. And it just works really well with Sword Tooth when it's on the battlefield. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right, so I'm going to make those couple changes for the next time I play it. All right, so that's Abzan Citadel. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, even though we didn't do so well. hope you uh, learned some stuff 
and enjoyed the video. Um, but there we go. That's uh, Abzan Citadel. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.